Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the fifth episode of a series called Attracting Hummingbirds to Your Feeders or just to your property. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, you can click there. Most people only observe hummingbirds when they're flying around feeding it flowers or if they're feeding it feeders. But hummingbirds spend the majority of their time perched. Now they're not always easy to spot, but a hummingbird will find a favorite branch and that's where he will sit most of the time. So that brings us to today's tip episode, providing perches for your hummingbirds. So what do they do there? Well, one of the things they do is they preen. Preening is what a bird does to fix his feathers and get them in top-notch condition for flying. I love taking pictures of hummingbirds that are preening because you can get them in some pretty cute, unusual positions. They also watch out for insects. Now, insects are hummingbirds' main food source. That's where they get their protein from. The nectar provides them carbohydrates, but the carbohydrates are mainly their fuel, like their gasoline, so they can go after their real food, which is the insects. Sometimes you'll see a hummingbird on a perch with its mouth opening and closing. It means there's a swarm of little insects right around the hummingbird, and he'll just catch them right there. Other times you'll see them swoop down from their perch and catch a bug in midair and then just turn around and go right back to the perch. But they're watching for little insects all the time. But mostly they're perching to keep an eye on their main food source. Or if it's a less dominant bird, it'll perch in a little more hidden area and keep an eye on the hummingbird that's trying to chase him away from that same food source. So if you want to bring your hummingbirds down to a spot where you can observe them, provide perches for them. If you take a look at my balcony, you can see that I have dead tree limbs <laughs> attached to the balcony railing. So I have lots of branches out there for the hummingbirds to perch on, and they do. They perch very close to the feeders. I also have a lot of bougainvillea. Now you can't grow that in any climate that isn't really warm like Southern California or Arizona or Texas, but lots of different plants have long, thin limbs that the hummingbirds love to perch on. It's not unusual for me to see four, five, six birds at a time perched on one bougainvillea branch. I bought a manzanilla branch once in a pet store because I thought Fillmore would enjoy chewing on it. Of course, you buy something for your parrot, they'll never go near it. Uh, they only want to chew your furniture and stuff they're not supposed to be chewing. But a good use for this manzanilla branch was putting it out there for the hummingbirds and they perch on it all the time. They love it. I provide swings, little swings, which you can see on the live cam. I have them in several areas on my balcony and the hummingbirds love to perch on those swings. I've even seen hummingbirds perch on zip ties. It's very, very easy just to provide some branches and they will come and they'll sit closer to your feeders so they can watch them. An advantage of having perches closer to your feeders is the bird will be less likely to get a far off perch way up high in a tree where he can swoop down and monopolize all of your feeders. I got a note from somebody who said that he has three feeders and they're 30 feet apart and there's still one bird that comes down and protects them all. Well, that bird has found a perch where he's able to do that. But if you provide perches that are closer, it would be a little hard for one bird to occupy three feeders that are like 90 feet from beginning to end. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Wednesday I'll be back with another tip on bringing hummingbirds to your property.